welcome everyone the question that you have seen that is the business cbsc prepsr question that comes in the year 2023 and it is second question of this question paper a point p lies at a distance x from the midpoint of the electric dipole on its axis the electric potential at a point p is proportional to four options are given that is 1 by x square option b is 1 by x cube option c is 1 by x to the power 4 and option d is 1 by x to the power half or 1 by root over x if you remember this then okay but if you can't remember now so let us move to the next page and what is it let us understood so this is an electric dipole obviously a minus q charge and a plus q charge is there and they are separated by a very small distance to equal and opposite charges separated by a very small distance are called electric dipole and this is the midpoint of the electric dipole and why this electric dipole is created if i want to say obviously if you place an atom which is a neutral because its positive charge center and negative charge center coincides at the center but if you place this in an electric field then what will happen the negative charge center will move because this cloud what you have considered it will form an ellipsoid okay obviously in the direction opposite to that of the electric field so there is a separation between the positive charge center and negative charge center obviously this positive charge center what is here it is not moves from its position it remains the same but due to the application of the electric field this negative electron cloud is deformed and this minus q charge is here and this plus q charge is here so this way two equal and opposite charges are separated by very small distance and constitutes an electric dipole okay so how an atom can be converted in electric dipole but it is not all the time sometimes what will happen sometimes most of the cases what we will do uh, and dipole is an inherent thing just like if there is a charge asymmetry if i say um, it is an hydrogen it is an hydrogen and it is an oxygen so there is a bond between them so obviously oxygen have six electrons among them two electrons are used up in this bonding but four electrons are there so one pair of electron another pair of electron so pair of electron so we can say that negative charge density is more here than that of here okay so by birth it is an electric dipole it is an atomic dipole sorry molecular dipole because a molecule is formed and how the atomic dipole is formed we have just discussed so these way electric dipoles basically plays an important role everywhere and here what we are going to find it out we are going to find it out if there is electric dipole and this electric dipole have a point o then we have to find it out the electric field where we have to find electric field at a distance x from the midpoint of an electric dipole on its axis okay so let us consider this is the axis of the dipole and this is the point p where we want to find it out the electric field or electric potential here obviously they told us to find the electric potential so let us write it down and put forward this discussion towards electric potential and the distance of the point p from this point or the central point o we can say r for symmetry we can say the separation between these two point charges are very small and we can say it is 12 okay so obviously this one is l and this one is also l okay let us name it this is the point a and this is the point b 
minus q charge is at point A plus q charge is at point B. Okay. Now, if I want to find it out the potential at the point P, we have to follow the superposition principle. And the potential at the point P due to the charge A is simply minus Q divided by, if I take the SI, then 4 by epsilon 0. The separation between the capital A and capital P. So we can see it is AP. Now, what is AP? From O to P is R, from A to O it is L. So we can say the separation between the point A and P, we can simply say it is R plus L. So here we can write it is minus Q divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 R plus L. Now if I want to find it out what is the electric potential at the point P due to the charge placed at B which is the plus Q charge and that is R minus L. Obviously it is so because OP is R and OB is L so BP is R minus L. So we can say it is plus Q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught BP separation between the point B and point P. So obviously it is the plus Q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught R plus L. Okay. So this is the plus sign. So uh, what is the potential at the point P? According to the principle of superposition, we have to just add these two. That is VPA, VPB. What is VPA? This is minus of Q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught R plus L okay, plus Q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught R BP is R minus L. I have somehow put it plus L. It should not be plus. It is minus. So it is R minus L. Okay. So if I take this Q divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 as common, then it will simply becomes 1 divided by R minus L minus 1 divided by R plus L. And it is quite evident that R minus L is small. So if you divide 1 by a smaller quantity, it becomes greater and R plus L is a greater quantity if you divide 1 by R plus L. So very simply we can say R minus L is greater than that of 1 by R plus L. So the quantity which comes after the subtraction obviously it is a positive one. So it is Q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught in the, in the denominator. R minus L is there, R plus L is there. We can see this product is R square minus of L square. A minus B into A plus B is A square minus B square. Okay. So here R plus L minus of R plus of L. Okay. Just check it out. R plus L goes this side and R minus L goes this side. And if I take the negative sign in account, then minus R and minus R plus R cancels out. So 2L is here. So it is Q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught. And after that here 2L is here. And after that R square is here. Okay. So Q2L, what is that? If you define the dipole moment, dipole moment is Q into 2L. That is one of this charge, magnitude of one of this charge multiplied by the separation between the minus q and plus q. So it is q into 2L. So if I put in this equation, so very simply this Vp comes, okay, that is P divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r square. Okay, so uh, let us return back 
so here it is say the electric field uh, sorry potential you have to find it out and it is at a distance x so you can see it is p divided by 4 pi epsilon naught x square okay and that is on its own axis okay so electric potential at a point is proportional to electric dipole moment obviously it is q multiplied by 12 neither the charge is changing neither the separation between them is changing that means q is not changing 12 is not changing so p remains constant and what is 4 pi epsilon naught it is nothing but the coulomb's constant so we can say p and 4 pi epsilon naught both are constant here so we can say that is vp is proportional to only one factor that is 1 by x square the potential is varied with the inversely proportional uh, to the, the square of distance from the dipole it is not electric field at all okay so the answer is 1 by x square and option a is the correct answer thank you a lot